world, my name is Rodney with Ella and Love Life. This is the Power Show. Let's get started. So in today's news, the daughter siblings who were running from the law after robbing a bank August 2nd, their run from the law ended after they crashed their car on the interstate in Colorado. And the sister of the siblings, she jumped out the car and started shooting at the police, and then they started shooting back. She got shot in the leg, and uh, now they've been taken into custody. I guess the moral of the story is, you rob a bank, you might get shot in the leg. A California research study shows that a 3D films, uh, they aren't really any better than 2D films. The only difference between the two is that you might come out of the, you know, the theater with a headache and uh, probably three dollars poor. I have to agree. You know, when I went to go see a, what name of the movie? Well, the Blue People. What's the name of that movie? The Blue, the Blue People. Avatar. Yeah, man, I walked about it and my head was all dizzy. Walking about it there like this. I'm on they side. You want to learn more about, you know, a woman orgasm? You know, how to, how to make a woman calm and all of that? What you do, next time you're in Australia, jump on Qantas Airlines. They show this documentary that, you know, gives a pretty explicit detail, you know, how you can get a woman past coming and actually have, a, you know, a pretty spectacular orgasm. I know when I go to Australia, I'm flying Qantas. After being accused of stealing a diamond ring from his employer, 30-year-old Wilfredo Gonzalez swallowed the ring in an attempt to try to hide it. All that did was delay, you know, the amount of time it was going to take for his ass to get locked up. Because the police came, took this fool to the hospital, they looked on the x-ray, you know, and saw the little ring or whatever going out of the digestive tract, stuck him in the room, and waited for him to poop it out. Man, that must have been the worst shit of his life. MTV and our condom have hooked up to create this app where, you know, if you happen to get all heated and you're in the mood with, you know, somebody you just met, or, you know, you ain't really sure, you know, they got something, or if you got something, you know, you're just trying to be safe. They got this application where, you know, if you're in the mood, you know, you all love it, double up on your person you're loving on, you know, uh, you look at this app, and it'll tell you where the nearest place the condoms are, whether it be in a vending machine that's next door to you, or at your friend's house next door. Go on and put that app on your iPhone. Popular in entertainment today, uh, J-Lo, uh, she will be at the American Idol judge next year. Cool. TBS has announced that the George Lopez show has been canceled. That's a funny dude. So sad. Popular on YouTube, uh, Ryan Higger uh, shares a spotlight with his dog Marley. Tee hee. Bro, they talk shit about your mama? Your mama so pretty that, uh, you know, I was like, man, you got a pretty mama. I want to talk bad about your mama. You know, you might have a gun. It's my trying to get shot. That's just me. I don't know you were your mama. And Jim Wasseger thought it was so funny uh, that, you know, she scared the shit out of her one-year-old daughter with the jack-in-the-box that she scared the shit out of her again. But this time, you know, when she did the second time, she made sure she had the camera in front of her so she could record her daughter, you know, screaming for her life. Ah, oh, mama, you scared the shit out of me. That ain't right. Gay rights activist Leo Scott is pushing for Sesame Street to have Bert and Ernie have a gay marriage. I don't agree with this. But that's just me. You know, I don't think, you know, that you should, I guess, have a kid show that, you know, pretty much telling kids, I guess, to be homosexual. I ain't knocking homosexuality. You know, I ain't saying it's right. I ain't saying it's wrong. It don't matter to me, you know, what somebody chooses to do. But I don't think that it's right, you know, for you to, you know, kind of gear little babies' minds toward going that way. You kind of kill their chances of, you know, deciding whether or not they want to be heterosexual, homosexual. Or you may not. Who knows? I don't think it's right. What do you think? All right, that's my time for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, if you dig the content, make sure you like. Uh, thumbs up. If you don't like, do your thumbs down. Uh, subscribe up top, you know, if you dig it. And make your little comments. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, peace. If you dig this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Peace.